All right, all right. Hey, everybody. Lynn Coffey here with a really quick training video. Uh, I know lots of you are uh, dabbling in Facebook Live, which I wholeheartedly recommend and love that you guys are getting out of your comfort zone. Um, so what I want to show you today is how you take a Facebook Live video and embed it into your website. Now, there's lots of reasons that you might want to do this, but the biggest reason I think is to basically do the prism effect on your content. So what in the heck does that mean? Basically, when you go live on Facebook, it, it only a certain number of people are going to be alerted that, that you're going live. And um, once your video has ended, you know, yes, it will be then posted and other people might see it on their timeline. But once they scroll past it, it's gone, it's done, they're never going to see it again. And so basically you're, you're taking the time, you're planning out your live uh, video, what you're going to talk about. Um, so what we want to do is then get that in, as, in front of as many people as possible. So once you create your live video, uh, what I recommend you do is figure out how can you get that uh, in front of people on your blog, in front of people on your email list, so on and so forth. So a quick sort of little note, you can run um, Facebook ads to a live video. So um, now, of course, it won't be live at the time. It will be pre-recorded, but just kind of throwing that out there because not a lot of people realize that you can you can do that. So if you go live and you have like one of those slam dunk sessions where you feel really good um, about what you talked about, you remembered a call to action, you know, it, it was just a great live session. Um, then consider go ahead go consider go ahead and creating an ad that basically uses that live video. Okay, so what I'm going to show you right now this is just this is kind of a cool thing. I never have time for this, but um, basically it just shows you um, all of the, all of these people that are going live, and you can kind of find people in your area or whatever. So I'm just going to pick the top one here um, just to kind of um, use this as my example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and kind of hope this works live. Now, this, this is actually going on right now, which is fine. But like I said, even if, um, well, what will happen for you is after you go live, it will post to your, your page basically. So what you wanna do is click the down arrow, click on embed. And now what most people will do is they'll copy this uh, and put that in the site, which I would not recommend doing. Um, if you do this, make sure you're embedding this not into your page or post, but into uh, uh, an HTML XYZ uh, HTML frame. Uh, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, if you log into the site, uh, basically near the bottom of the left side navigation uh, is a place you add all code like this, and then you use a snippet. If you need extra help on that, let me know. Basically, what I want you to do is click on Advanced to Settings. And this can get very complicated as you can see, but all I need you to do here is copy the URL of the video. And I have a um, test post pulled up. You can give it any headline you want. Make sure you're in the visual tab, put your cursor here and then paste. Give it a few seconds and basically um, it'll just take care of itself. Now, of course you would go on, uh, add whatever copy you wanted, pick whatever you wanted to here. You can do a preview just to make sure everything is working. And it should pop up here momentarily. There you go. So basically, um, that's how easy it is to add a Facebook Live video to uh, your site. Now, you might be thinking, um, well, you know what? I'm not gonna go into the whole marketing aspect of it, but here's what I guess I want you to get across uh, or what I wanna get across to you. Facebook Live is super powerful, but the problem is if you just put it on your uh, timeline or your page, it disappears pretty quickly. So find a way to integrate it into your actual website. When you do a live, integrate it into your site, and then send out an email to your list that drives them to your actual site, not to your Facebook Live post on your wall. So if you drive them to the Facebook um, Live post on your site, and if you have the Facebook uh, pixel installed, what you're doing is seasoning your pixel, which basically means when you run an ad, whether you're doing it now or if you plan to do it in three months from now, six months from now, 
two years from now, your pixel will have been picking up data this entire time. And when you go to run an ad, your cost per lead will be lower and Facebook will know, um, which is amazing to me, but it'll know the type of people that visit your site. And, sh and so when it shows, uh, when it displays your ad to others, it will try to match those that visit your site. So again, that's a really cool tip I just shared. The quick recap, when you do a Facebook Live video, that's fantastic, but then I want you to do what we just did here and embed the video into your website whether it's under a specific category that you create for all of your videos or whether it's simply a general blog post, it doesn't matter. Once that's posted, you take the URL, email it to your list, have them visit your site to check out your Facebook Live. And while you do that, you're actually seasoning your Facebook pixel. I absolutely recommend everybody have a Pixel installed on their site. And I absolutely recommend if you don't already have Pixel Pro, get it now. It's just 37 bucks. Uh, put a link to it uh, under under this training, basically. Um, I highly, highly recommend you take, it, take that course. It's a little mini course. You get through it in less than an hour. Um, I, I walk you through how to do everything. So absolutely, I would recommend doing that. Okay, enjoy. I'm <laughs> going